Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add clouds to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And this will work with any of the games that you are working on. I'm going to go ahead and open up the village. And let's go ahead and add some clouds. So you may have seen other tutorials that show you uh, different ways to add clouds. And there were some versions of this that are in beta version. The problem with the beta version is that if you use it with Roblox Studio, it is not going to publish to your game. So in this video, I'm going to show you the way to use the clouds so that when you do publish the game, that your clouds will be saved to the game and will show up in your published game. So in order to do this, what you need to do is go over to Workspace. And make sure you have the Explore and Properties tab on the right-hand side. If those are not showing, then you want to just go up to View and then make sure Explore and Properties tab are highlighted. So we have the Explorer open here. I'm going to drop open the workspace. And so you can see there's an option for Terrain. And so you're going to click on Terrain, and there's an Add icon next to it. So go ahead and click the Add icon. And then in there, you're going to search for Clouds. And so you can see Clouds are there. So I'm going to go ahead and add those Clouds. And so you can see as soon as I added it to the train, there was a couple clouds that were added to the game. So now in order to edit the clouds, you can go ahead and just click on clouds. And you can see there are options with the properties. So you've got uh, certain things like the cover. And you can see as you increase this. So right now at 0.6, there's uh, more clouds in the sky. And then if you go the whole way to one, it will completely cover the sky with clouds. Uh, if you go down to zero, there will be no clouds in the sky. So I'm going to put it somewhere around maybe 0.7 there. That looks pretty good. And then density, it's the same thing. It's a moving scale from zero to one. If you go to zero, it will take the clouds away. And uh, But if you uh, increase this, it will increase the how dense the clouds are. And you will notice this if you actually like fly up in the air and actually go through the clouds, you'll see how dense they are. Uh, so uh, this one, I'm going to go uh, pretty dense and right about 0.7 again. Looks pretty good. Okay, you can change the name of the clouds and then you can change the parent. But right now, you want to keep that in the terrain for the clouds to work correctly. So when you publish the game, your clouds will show up. Another cool feature here is that you can change the color of the clouds. Uh, so you can click on the color icon there. And I'm going to go ahead and change this. You can see you can do like red clouds uh, or uh, possibly blue. I'm going to try uh, purple clouds there. So it looks pretty good. So press OK. So you can see I've got these purple clouds in the air uh, for uh, the game that I'm working on. Now, uh, make sure that on the properties that you have these enabled. So you can see there's an option here for enabled. If I click that, that's going to take away the clouds. So I'm going to click that again so it enables the clouds in the game. So one thing to make sure that your clouds work correctly is that you put them in terrain. Uh, if you put them in, let's say, lighting, uh, so let's say you put the clouds in lighting, you might not have the clouds show up in the game that you publish. So you want to make sure that you have them in the terrain so, you, so that they show up in your game. So if you want to adjust the time of the day, of course, you can click on lighting and then uh, you can just uh, scroll down on the properties of lighting and you can change the clock time. So right now we have it in the middle of the day. You could make it a nighttime game. So you can see you've got uh, a night texture there, but I've got those purple clouds in the sky. And again, as always, you can uh, test run your game just by going up to home and then play. And then this way you can double check to make sure that the clouds are in the game the way you would like them. So in this tutorial, I showed you how to add the clouds to the game that will stay constant in the game. If you want to add something like uh, clouds that will move, those are called dynamic clouds or dynamic skies. I have those in another video that you can watch. I'll put a link to it in the description below. So you now know how to add clouds to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.